Hello and thanks for having a look at the Liquid Lists Attentional Advertising application. This is a CAN demo and a proof of concept. What you're going to see in the next five minutes uh, is where we are in terms of providing this proof of concept. So the first thing I'm going to do is do what I would normally do, which is browse using a web browser around various sites of my own interest. I'm going to go to the technology section and maybe look at some of the stories that I find interesting. While I'm doing that, in the background we have the attention recorder from Liquid Lists running. What I'm going to do is open that up now and you'll see the URLs that have been recorded from where I've just been browsing. What I might want to do is store that information for later use on my attention or I might want to give it a tag to remind me a bit more about it. So I'm going to go and tag the site and I'm going to give it some information. and I might give it a rating. And what I want to do now is go back and continue browsing. But maybe I want to see what one of my friends has been browsing about as well. So I'm going to go to my trusted list, which can be friends, colleagues, or the general uh, internet community. I'm going to add a user in, and in this case one of the Liquid List team called Tim. And what occurs now is if I look at my to read list, these are things that Tim's been paying attention to and it's recommending those things that might be interesting for me to read as well. Now Chris has spent most time at the top site, Chris Anson, and least time at the bottom site. And so all the information is ranked by your attention ranking. If I click on one of the sites that I find interesting, it will immediately bring that site up for me. Here we are on Channel 9, one of Microsoft's sites, and I can continue browsing and having a look at information. All the while, it's still recording my attention for this browsing session. I might decide I want to add in another friend now, and I can go back to my trusted list and find somebody else that I might want to add. And In this case, I'm going to add in Dan. Dan's also one of the team working on liquid lists and when we add him to my trusted list my reading list changes once again. You'll notice now that the top item is no longer Chris Anderson but there is another item there. What's occurred is the systems used an attention ranking algorithm to reorder that list to find the things that are most uh, in my attention list that I would want to spend time on based on the two people's own attention. That's great. Well, let me go and publish my attention now to the server so that my friends can gain from where I've been browsing. As I click on the publish list, it comes up with where I've been. And you'll notice that I've spent uh, time reading various sites and I've also rated the site that we had earlier. I might want to delete some sites as well, and so I'm going to delete a site which I don't think is of interest to anyone else. And now I'm going to publish my attention up to the central server. Next <clears throat> I want to go and have a look at some car insurance. I have to renew it and I'm going to start off with the AA website who I currently use. I've just remembered actually that one of my friends, Sam's, just renewed his car insurance. So I'm going to go again to my trusted list and see where Sam spent his attention. I'm going to remove Tim and Dan from my list because I don't think they've done any new car insurance recently. And I have a look at Sam's reading list. Well, clearly there is a lot of information in there. So now I'm going to filter that by going to my settings and putting in has Sam tagged anything with car insurance? And I'm going to strictly match that so that I can get only those sites that Sam paid attention to regarding car insurance. If I go back to my reading list, they're the three sites that Sam looked at. So I'm going to look at the first one and see, because he spent most of his attention on that site. 
its direct line. You'll notice now, unlike before when we were looking at a website such as the BBC, there was no advert. But now we've got a, an advert placed at the bottom of the screen in our attention recorder. And this is actually an advert from direct line aimed at me. And this is what is an example of attentional advertising. So it's saying, Nick, because I'm surfing onto this site and they know I'm paying attention to that, if I sign up now, I'll get a further 10% discount because I reach also their demographic age group. So I can either do one of two things. So in the case of Direct Line, they've said I could either call them, either directly using a landline or a VoIP call, or I could click on the URL link, which would take me to a site that they may have personalized for me, or with a form pre-filled in with some of my information. I'm not going to do that yet. I'm just going to have a look and see what else Sam might have looked at. So one of the other sites he looked at was elephant.co.uk. And again, a new advert has appeared based on my attention, this time from elephant.co.uk, offering me a different uh, discount level or a different opportunity to sign up with their car insurance. And finally, if I look at the third site, I can see again Sam paid attention to more, over the, more than, and again, we have a third attentional advert appearing from more than. What we've tried to show you very briefly is how uh, browsing can now be linked to your attention. The attention that you have can be registered and you can tag it and you can then start to publish that information for friends and family or the general internet public. You can share that attention or you can gain from others attention and now what we've been able to do is show you how when you use your attention recorder you can get attentional adverts appearing based on what you're doing hopefully being more relevant and making it much more likely that you'll find the information you want if you have any further questions please contact us thank you very much for your time